these are close, but they're just not there. Do you have the same trouble I have sometimes? In other words, you're trying to pick the perfect color for your house, and you just can't seem to get there. Well, I've got a couple of tips that may help you. Here's what I like to do. Go to the paint store and buy a can, a quart can, of each of the colors that are very close to what you're trying to do. Make sure it's the same brand, make sure it's the same finish. Now take it home and put some on the wall like I did here and see if you like them. Well, it may work, it may not. If it doesn't, it's time to custom blend the paints yourself. Go into your kitchen, I like to sneak into my wife's, and get one of those little tablespoons. They're really handy. It allows you to measure an equal amount of paint into some type of small container. I use a small tin can often. Now, go ahead and mix those together, blend them, paint it on, and see what you end up with. It may be the right amount if you go ahead and mix one part of one paint and one part of another, but sometimes you'll have to do different tests. You may have to take two tablespoons of one paint to one tablespoon of another. Go ahead and make several different tests and see what you end up with. But trust me, if you're patient, you'll end up with the exact color that you're looking for. Oh, I think we did it. I think I nailed the color. Now remember, the paints always appear lighter when you first put them on. They always dry darker. Now the trick to blending paint, it's a lot of patience. Take your time, and trust me, you will come up with a color that you like. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to askthebuilder.com.